I welcome you in the first class Emirates Lounge in Concourse 2 in Dubai Airport. They're the places most of us tend to walk past on our way to find a seat or join yet another queue once we're through security and passport control. But for airports and airlines that serve them, lounges are becoming increasingly important and the competition is hotting up. Where once a few curled up sandwiches, some well-worn armchairs and an endless supply of free games would supply, now state-of-the-art facilities and wow factors are the name of the game. It's really important if they're going to attract uh, the top business class flyers um, to have some way of looking after them while they're in the airport. Uh, perhaps once you could go walk straight into an airport and be out of there in half an hour. But now with the security, people are in there for at least a couple of hours. And during those two hours, uh, they want to be comfortable and they, ought to, uh, they also want to be productive. I think the game changer for us is to do that on a night flight where a customer has a nice meal, does a bit of business, gets on the aircraft, goes to sleep, arrive in New York, fresh and go you go straight into your business meeting. I think some of the best lounges are absolutely amazing. They have uh, full service spas which are free of charge. Um, in the case of Virgin Atlantic's Clubhouse in London they have uh, as well as a spa uh, a hairdressing salon. They also have pool tables and of course a, a great range of food and drink. And what about Despite the obvious luxury trappings, for many hard-pressed business travellers, being on call 24-7 isn't our part of their job spec, and the biggest luxury an airline lounge can offer a peace and quiet and a good Wi-Fi signal. The lounge project that Emirates has been running since 2005 uh, has cost us over 90 million US dollars. I think broadly when you look at what customers expect, they want excellent premium food and beverages, they need Wi-Fi, and they need a quiet place. And Emirates aren't the only airline investing in livening up their lounges. In America, this is BA's latest lounge at Newark Airport at 8,000 square feet. It's part of a multi-billion dollar plan to upgrade the airline. Consistency is really important, especially for frequent flyers. You know, these are the guys who fly with us maybe 40, 50 times a year. And they know exactly what service they're going to be getting at every stage of the process. But also working with our design team so that we've been working with sort of designers like Osborne and Little to make sure they would get the same kind of fabrics. We want to be much more contemporary, more welcoming and a much more sort of refined British product. But if you're not lucky enough to travel at the front of the plane very often, are there other ways to get access to airline lounges? Often when you're in a lounge, you look around and think, how can all these people be flying business class? There aren't enough seats on the plane. In fact, a lot of them are flying economy. They're just flying on fully flexible, expensive economy tickets, and they'll, as a result, uh, gain access to the lounges. When it comes to lounge access, loyalty is your lifeline. If you sign up to an airline's loyalty program, then try to stick to flying with that carrier or alliance. And if you travel enough, you'll soon rise up the ranks when it comes to rewards and many airlines offer free lounge access at least at their home hub if you reach a certain level of loyalty, even if you're flying in economy. You can't let everybody in because otherwise there's no cachet attached to it. So it's about making sure that people have the right tickets for the right lounge and then if they want to progress then clearly we give them an avenue that's, that's clearly marked out about how they can do that. If you fly often enough, but mainly at the back of the plane and with different carriers, then it could be worth looking into some of the schemes which ask for you to pay a yearly membership in return for access to a string of airport lounges around the world. Great news if you travel a lot, although possibly a false economy if you don't. If you're one of those infrequent travellers, then several airlines, mainly in the States, offer the chance to pay around $50 for a one-off on-the-day lounge pass. But a tip worth remembering is don't be afraid to ask for a look round before you part with your cash. As you don't want to find that the lounge is packed thanks to some lengthy layovers after you've already paid to use it. But if you're willing to take the chance, many flustered flyers post unwanted prepaid lounge passes on eBay after arriving at the airport too late to use them. Finally, don't forget that several credit card providers also reward many high value customers with free airport lounge access. But if none of the above apply to you, next time you're in Dubai, you can also always treat yourself to a snooze pod, seclusion, a comfy bed and free Wi-Fi. But don't forget to bring your own sandwiches.